Big news to start your Wednesday morning as Wall Street looks to stimulus. As a lot of other issues across the board have now cleared the airways, the big focus is what is Congress going to do? Yesterday, Congress passed the resolution that allows the stimulus package of $1.9 trillion to be passed in the next few days without the need of a single GOP vote. And in this recording, I go over the 25 incredible items that only viewers of this channel have heard that are in the third stimulus package. They haven't been detailed extensively by the Biden camp, rather they've been announced in bits and parts. And for the first time ever, you're going to hear them concisely and simply here for you today. They're becoming a law. The question is, what day? It's no longer a question of when or how. It's great news. You're finally at the finish line. And this is Early Mornings Alalite. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA, the 6.30 edition. How are you? The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here, and big updates across the board as Wall Street looks to Congress and wonders what day this will become law. We know it's going to become a law, we just don't know what day. I'm really excited for you, so make sure you subscribe. This is the best darn channel that there is out there. No channel is delivering the amount of breadth of reporting that this channel does in a single day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The breadth and the detail is unmatched, so make sure you subscribe. Also like this video, and if you're not becoming a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. You get access to documents prepared by this channel that details what's in packages, details how to get items in the package, and details what congressional leaders have said about what's coming to you as law. Very exciting news. Over there is an instant chat. And as an instant chat, you can chat with other Purple Powers, Calcino VIPs, and Purple Hawks. Become a member by clicking the link at the top of the chat and join them right now. And with that, there's so much happening across the board. I'm so excited for you. Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you start the new morning is that the third stimulus package will become law. Why? Because it's sort of like this metaphor of a tow truck with a tow hitch. The tow truck passed the finish line yesterday. The tow truck is a resolution bill. That bill, that reconcil reconciliation bill, sets up the ability to pass the $1.9 trillion stimulus package, the tow hitch, without the need of a single GOP vote. So, by all accounts, every Democrat's already on board. They've already confirmed they're on board. The $1.9 trillion bill of Joe Biden will pass. The question is, what day? It could pass by the end of the week, it could pass in a day or so, or it could pass thereafter. We simply don't know. In the next few hours or days, we'll find out how quickly it becomes law. But it is becoming law. This is the biggest news and the greatest news you've had since March 1 with the CARES Act plan that became your first stimulus package. So what is in that tow hitch? What is in the third stimulus package law? Yesterday we got more insight. There's still more information we could get. But this channel has the most comprehensive details for you. I'm going to get right to it right now. First, the stimulus check is the most talked about item. $1,400 individual, $2,800 a married couple, $1,400 a child, and $3,200 an adult dependent. Anyone who's on benefits like Social Security would get the same check as well. Next, FPUC going forward. $400 a week from now to September, which is about fourteen dollars to $16,000 if you're unemployed that entire period. Now understand that's just FPUC. UI and PUA are also extended to September. So if you use the escalated benefits process that's discussed in this channel and you made over $18,000 or $30,000 2019, you could raise your benefits up to $300, $400, $500 a week, and that's under your $300? Wow, you could be making about six, dollars $700 a week for 40 something weeks, that's a lot of money. That's upwards of about $30,000 in replaceable unemployment income if that is in fact the situation for you. 
Next, uh, Hazape, we don't know any more information than we did before. That anxiously awaits. If you tune into Hazape on Overnight to LA, you got to watch that video. It's a popular show, and I'm live chatting with you because people are ready to pounce and see the detail. Next, Rent Aid got a big twist and a big surprise yesterday. There's not one, two, three, but four types of Rent Aid. <sighs> Lord, Rent Aid first for low income, second, Rent Aid for middle class, third, Rent Aid for homeless, and fifth, did I miscount? <laughs> Larry Cudlow, did I miscount? Did I miscount, Larry? <laughs> Can you give me the calculator? I think I miscounted. <laughs> the rent aid for property owners. Yes, mortgage assistance. <sighs> Lord, there is a mortgage assistance, which means you are given money to pay your mortgage. I have to make that very clear. Because last night people say, oh, that's mortgage forbearance. No, 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 not mortgage forbearance. Mortgage assistance. Moolah, money for your mortgage. This is insanely great news. No one had heard about this ever. Now remember, this is one of the few places anywhere that you can see a 30-page description of the bill obtained by the Biden camp, uh, from the Biden camp obtained by this channel. And it wasn't even mentioned in there. So mortgage assistance somehow floated in there. What else? Well, there's that $1,700 for student aid, for college student. Then there's up to $1,400 a week for paid sick leave. And then there's a the child tax credit. There is the e there is a business grant for existing businesses and a business loan to go start a new business. And then there's the surprises. And <laughs> they kept on coming. It was just, it was just surprise galore. The surprises came from a press release from Nancy and Chuck Schumer yesterday that gave us more insight as to what is actually in the bill and included stuff that we had never heard of before. Certainly, the surprise started with that rent aid, which just surprised people. Rent re relief funds for the millions of Americans struggling to make rent and mortgage payments as well as those experienced homelessness. Resolution will also include funding for transit agencies impacted by the pandemic. That's incredible. And then came this, another major surprise. Additional relief for our nation's small businesses and hard hit industries through increased funding for the EIDL advance grants. My goodness, the EIDL grant is back, baby. Now of nowhere, it is back. But what else is in there? Here's some more grants and loans. The creation of a dedicated grant program for restaurants. <gasps> Bombshell. Totally brand new. Totally brand new. Very exciting. Expanded PPP assistance for nonprofits and digital media services. More funds for Save Our Stages grants to independent live venues. Independent movie theaters and cultural institutions. And a new community navigator technical assistance to help connect underserved communities with critical resources. Now... While I'm in, on the issue of grants, let me turn to later in Nancy's statement with Chuck, in which she talks about another grant, which we had never heard about before. Funding to the Economic Development Administration and Environmental Justice Grants to help low-income minority communities who have been hardest hit by COVID. Wow. Don't know anything more about that. But this is very big news. Also funding for critical programs to aid in global response to and recovery through the pandemic. Significant funds for the humanitarian assistance and global health programs. Very good. And then another surprise. More money for SNAP on top of the money that I've been detailing this channel? Yes. Support for humbly families through programs like SNAP, WIC, and Pandemic EBT. This also includes critical funding for this food supply chain and the Agriculture Department's Lending and Financial Assistance Programs to support farmers across the country. Does that mean more farmer grants and farmer loans? It sounds like it is, and it also sounds like more SNAP benefits. This was all very huge and very surprising. The statement by Pelosi and Schumer said, 
uh, that the uh, said that the bill is desperately needed. Immediate relief for individuals and families through 2021, including $1,400 per person and per child direct payments, an extension of unemployment insurance programs through 2021 with a $400 a week federal enhancement and a $350 in critical state and local territorial fiscal relief. The resolution also provides funds to help with coverage across the country. Wow. That is incredible great news. Now, that's in addition to everything that I've detailed in the last few weeks from that 30-page summary of what is in the bill. What I want you to understand is that even if you don't hear Nancy mention something, doesn't mean it's not in there. It's still in there. And what I want to turn to is what else is still in there. So all those tax credits are still in there. There's no indication that they have been removed. What were they? They were referring to our PDF, if you're a member of this channel, the January 31st one, 23rd one, expansion of the earned income tax credit, that's $1,500. Um, and that's if, uh, that is if you're a central worker and you made less than $21,000. Child tax credit, either $3,000 or $3,600 a child, depending on the child's age. And the child t care tax credit, which is $4,000 of child care for one child or up to $8,000 for several children. It's always important for me to repeat because it's <laughs> just lost in all this information, is that all these tax credits are currently law. What's being done here by Joe, is he's, Joe, President Biden, is that he's modifying the eligibility and modifying the amounts. So for example, the first one, he's raised it from age 16 to 17. Another one, he's changing it from 530 to $1,500. Ultimately, I always have people say, well, should I file my tax return now? Or should I wait for that tax credit to come on in? <laughs> and I'm like, well, that tax credit is currently law. No way. Shock fire and hell, hell matches. Is that real true? I'm like, yeah, it is true. Oh my goodness, on it. Did you not know there's a tax credit out there? Yes, there's a tax credit out there. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> but yes, there is a tax credit out there. And he's just changing numbers to them. So <laughs> You didn't realize it till he issued a press release that there's been a tax credit for the last 10 years. Then thank that press agent because that press release really worked well. <laughs> Coming up later today at about 8.30 a.m. or 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time is morning's outlight. I'll have big updates as Wall Street opens and tries to deal with the fallout of those falling stocks that Reddit users, users thought would be cute to sort of back a bunch of stocks that were overpriced and undervalued. GameStop, AMC, all the ones took a massive hit yesterday and the hit could continue. Meantime, Robinhood still remains slightly under fire by some congressional leaders. That's the app that allows you to trade. And that trading app um, initially restricted trades and then open trades. Elsewhere, we'll be looking for more earnings reports hitting Wall Street today. And we'll look to see whether Wall Street continues this winning streak for another day. Uh, I'm excited for you, so make sure you subscribe because there's going to be a lot of breaking developments this week. Um, we potentially could see more of this bill uh, and answer some questions like hazard pay over the next 24 hours. So make sure you subscribe. Go to the front of the channel, subscribe. Also like this video. And if you're not become a member, become a Purple Power member. Hawk, Power, or Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a great morning. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. And hopefully at 8.30 you'll have some bacon, 8.30 you'll have some bacon for me. <laughs> have a good morning.